uh, and why is Nigeria tightening its grip on virtual assets? The Nigerian Securities and Exchange Commission has given virtual asset service providers a 30-day deadline to update their applications according to new rules. These amendments cover digital asset issuance, offering platforms, exchange, and custody. Uh, the SEC's recent public notice highlights the need for a stronger regulatory framework to ensure better compliance in the digital asset sector. Uh, VASPs must use the SEC ePortal to update their applications properly uh, following these new regulations. Uh, um, in March, Nigeria introduced these new rules through the SEC, aiming to license, register, and inspect VAS. This move reflects increased scrutiny on cryptocurrency exchanges, especially after Binance stopped offering Nigerian Naira services due to heightened regulations. Uh, to aid compliance, the SEC launched the Accelerated Regulatory Incubation Program tailored for VASPs. A special onboarding window via the SEC ePortal requires VASPs to update applications within 30 years ago. Non-compliant VASPs face strict regulatory action. The SEC revised its rules on digital assets, issuance, offering platforms, exchange, and custody originally released in May 2022. With M.O.T. Niagama as the new Director General, there's a shift towards more structured regulation of virtual assets. And one key amendment proposed in March was increasing the registration fee for crypto exchanges from 30 million Naira to 150 million Naira. This aims to ensure financially stable and compliant entities operate in the sector. And Nigeria, a major player in the global crypto market, ranked second in cryptocurrency adoption in 2023. The new regulations seek to balance rapid market growth with necessary oversight for secure development. Uh, uh, what do we know that we know that why did the cryptocurrency exchange refuse to cross the road? It didn't want to face new regulations. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.